There is a new laser gun that can blow up stuff from over a mile away. Now if you're a fan of the Death Star and its awesome power in the original Star Wars saga, well that fantasy is now a reality. Does this news scare you or does it excite you? Let us know in the comments down below. My name is Michael McCredden talking to you about the real world Death Star here for you on IO. A military technology company has been testing out a new fiber optic laser called Ethina. And on its test run, it was able to burn through the engine of a truck that was over a mile away. Its 30 kilowatt laser beam was described by the defense and aerospace company as possessing the highest power ever documented by a laser weapon of its type. It took only a few seconds for the laser to reach the running vehicle and rather than causing it to explode, it simply targeted parts of its components that would make the vehicle immobile. With this kind of technology, you get none of that Hollywood special effects where when you hit something it blows up, there's fire, there's smoke, there's everywhere. This is clean, it is precise. Also, if there were people in this vehicle, it's thought they would have survived. Now you can imagine for yourself how this would be of benefit to any military. If you have enemy vehicles approaching a location with explosives on hand, well this laser could stop it right in its tracks without causing much risk and the attack, well it would keep those terrorists alive for interrogation. It also has its benefits because shooting lasers are cost effective which makes a whole lot of sense now. Those stormtroopers, they were really trigger happy. Mm, give them more lasers. They cost nothing. We're building another Death Star. We, we can afford it. Now there was once talks of satellites hovering over top of North America, which would prevent events like 9-11. And all this future technology that talk about freaking lasers, well it's got me realizing that George Lucas was really ahead of his time. This new laser, its blast, is generated by what is known as spectral beam combining or when numerous lasers are fired at a single target simultaneously to form one beam. Sound familiar? Yeah, that's exactly how the Death Star worked. Let me know if this new technology scares you or if it excites you in the comments down below. My name is Michael McCredden. If you want more information on this story, as always, be sure to check out the links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Boom.